Hey everybody, welcome back to another day of class here at Shagido Martial Arts. Um, today we're going to be working on some of our upper katas. So if you're not comfortable doing those, you want to jump ahead. Uh, we'll be doing some kick terminology and some self-defense. You can jump into an older video and do some of your earlier katas. Or if you want to learn something new, want to try something cool, um, I'm going to be doing Kusanku, Sanchin, and Suinsu. Now, uh, Kusanku is our blue belt kata. All right, I'm going to explain these now so that I don't have to get into it in between. Kusanku is our blue belt kata. It's my personal favorite kata. Um, and it's one of the, the most aerobic. Uh, you have to get up, kneel down, whatever, move around a lot. It's probably why I like it so much. Uh, Sanchin is a very, very short kata, but it's designed for isometrics. Now, if you weren't here last week when we talked about isometrics, isometrics is basically pushing and pulling at the same time. If I have my bicep and my tricep, my bicep helps me pull things in, my tricep helps me push things away. If I activate both of them at the same time, my punch goes really slow, but I'm actually working out both muscles, okay? So that gives you an opportunity to kind of push and pull and work, get a full body workout at the same time. Uh, if you've ever seen um, the bodybuilders, the guys that do their poses and stuff, when they lock into their pose, they're doing isometrics, okay? They're pushing and pulling, and that's what's showing off all the muscles that they got. The last kata we're doing is su and su. Su and su is the highest empty hand kata that you learn, and it's the last black belt kata, uh, or the last kata you get to earn your black belt. So it's kind of cool. Su and su is a lot of fun. It's also the only Ishinru kata, okay? All these other ones came from Goju Ru or Shorin Ru, um, you know, and Master Shimabuku edited them and, and whatever to make them for Ishinro, but they existed before, he just modified them. Su and Su is his cut. Master Shimabuku made Su and Su uh, on his own, so it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go through those three. We're gonna do some kicks, We've got some self defense. We'll get you guys out of here today, okay? So uh, we're gonna start off nice and easy with Kusan Ku. Kusan Ku. That's me. So it's okay. Ready? Ku san ku. How's it? So you're gonna come up and down, out, part your hands, bring them up and around, guard and naihachi steps. Step to the left, zen kuts, black high and low. They're soft blocks, they're just kind of a guard. Block one and two. And a head block, snap. Punch, so I'm sh when I do that, I'm shifting uh, my Zen to the other side. Punch, chamber, headlock. Stomp, punch, chamber, headlock. Look over my shoulder, draw back. Right foot forward cat stance. I'm gonna do a back fist and a front kick at the same time. Look to the front, guard, guard, guard. Circle step forward, pop up, Seisan, and punch. I'm gonna look to the back. I'm going to step around Seisan stance, left foot forward, punch left. Step out Zen Kutz, punch right, uh, lunge punch, block and stroke. I'm going to do a front kick, down on one knee, side block. Stand up, punch, bring them up. I block across the face, come in with the shooto as I come into my crane stance. Front kick, down on one knee, side block. Stand up, punch. I'm going to look to the left. Draw back, cat, double, front kick and back fist, step out to my knee, elbow. Look over my shoulder, draw back, double, and block. Looking to the left, guard, guard, other side, guard, guard. Step out, horse, X block, block and shooto, front kick, down, into Seisan, double block. Step into crane, hammer fist, hammer fist. Step back, Seisan, side block, punch, punch. Look over my left shoulder, draw back cat. This is where I do my jump double crescent kick. So my jump double crescent kick comes out, horse stance, back. I'm gonna come up, kick my foot to my hand, set it down, my other foot comes around, and I land with my hands in a diamond. I'm gonna jump and switch. Step up, side block, punch, punch. Look over my left shoulder, 
Drawback Cat Stance. Dragon Stomp. Stomp. Step in Crane. Palm. Stab. Look. Spin all the way around. Down block. Double. And elbow. Look. It's going to be a tie up. So my right hand comes down, my left hand comes up. Push. Step out horse. To the corner. Double. Step in horse to the side. Hammer fist. Hammer fist. Axe block. Look left, look right. Step around. And down. Ball. Draw back cat. Jump double front kick. Axe block. To the back. Side block. Punch, punch, and back to the front. Guard, guard. All right, so that's Ku San Ku. Next, we're gonna do San Chin. So, the next card is San Chin. San Chin is our isometric card. So, here's me, Kyotsuke, Ray, San Chin, Hajime. So when we step out, this is the only kata we step out with the opposite foot. So we're going to step out right. Come into our Sanchin Dachi, which is like our Seisan plus Naihanchi. Block up. And block. So they're all reverse punches. They come in. And they come out. Nice and slow. And they're going to corkscrew at the end. This is the only kata with corkscrew punches too. We're going to block. And break. Step forward, bring it in, and punch, corkscrew, block, break. One more, step, big punch, comes in, corkscrew, block, and break. Now we start with the lunge punch. So we're going to do lunge punch corkscrew, block, break. One more reverse punch, no stepping, punch, block, break. So that's five punches total. So now on our sixth one, it's different. So it's going to be our second lunge punch. So lunge, block, grab, rip, tear. Come in, two hands. It's going to be stab, nice and slow. On the recoil, you curl, bleh, on the recoil, you curl your first set of knuckles in like you're making half fists because you're catching their bottom rib. You're going to break and pull it apart. Come in. Stab, wow, catch, break, pull. And last one, so there's three of these. Stab, catch, break, pull. And make sure you're really engaging your lats and getting that pull motion. I'm going to put my right hand on top of my left, step back. My right hand comes down to tie them up. Pushes together and out. Left hand on top of my right. Step around. Together and out. I'm going to come up and there's three bows. A full bow, which is the hard breath. A middle bow, which is the medium breath. A 25% bow, quarter bow, which is a, let, a no breath. And then a normal bow. All right, so... That's San Chin, our brown belt kata, all right? And uh, that one's pretty fun. I like doing that one a lot. It's really short, but it's if you do the isometrics at 100%, it really does feel good. It makes your body feel good. The last kata we're gonna do today is Su and Su. Su and Su shares a lot of moves with other katas because when Master Shimabuku was making this, he took the moves uh, out of other katas that he uh, thought were particularly important, okay? So as we're doing this, you're going to find some stuff that, that's familiar. So, Yasme, Kyotsuke, Rei, Su and Su, Hajime. And it starts off right out of Sanchin, or Sanchin, I'm sorry. So you step out, 
double black, shuffle, punch, break, step, punch, break, step, punch, break. Come in, shuffle, stab, grab, rip, tear, stab, grab, rip, tear. Step back, saison, side black, punch, punch. Look into the back, I'm gonna step out into a horse and bait them in to kick to the ribs. I look to the back, it's gonna be shooter down, shooter to the jaw, and then push block stab. So it looks like this. Shooter down, shooter to the jaw, and then push block across my groin and stab. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Look around, step back the way I came. So stepping over my right, opening side block, push and stab right out of Wan Su. Come up, hike dodge, or I'm sorry, like a short hike dodge. Side kick, side kick, stepping across, guard. Come in, stab, Nikite, Nikite, Nikite. So three, it goes stab, stab, stab. Okay? Then from here, we're going to draw back. We're going to do a back fist in our horse stance and come back. Just like in Kusan Ku setting up for that, uh, that jump crescent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my block like in Kusan Ku, but instead of coming around, I'm going to come up like this. So it comes horse, block strike. I'm going to do a front kick, double block where I basically just bring my Right hand down, and then it goes wind up, trap, break. So I'm trapping their fist as I break. So I'm kind of like blocking it into a trap here, breaking their elbow. So from here, kick, wind up, trap. Look, go. I'm going to catch their hands and roll it over to kind of make them fall, like the, taking their wrist and twisting it. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm gonna stomp their knee with the four, uh, blade kick. Step out, Saison, double punch. Step Saison, double punch. I'm gonna jump back to cat stance. And I bring my two head blocks up and they're low. They're not all the way up in head blocks because somebody's grabbing me, I'm just getting their hands off. I'm gonna step off to the side, lower body basic number nine, front kick, shift, front kick. I'm gonna to look to my right side as I step. I'm gonna use this elbow as I'm stepping to block. So it's like a last second block. So I twist and stab, pull the elbow, shuffle, elbow, elbow. Look over my left shoulder, step across with my left foot. I'm gonna do the same thing. I block and stab, pull, elbow, shuffle, elbow, elbow. Now to the back, I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with the elbows, but I do a big one. It comes in, us, big swinging elbow, two elbows. Dragon's tongue right out of Kusan Ku, except it's a little different. It's gonna push block out of the way instead of coming down. It's gonna push block out of the way, step in horse. I'm gonna grab somebody's sleeve, draw it in, spin behind them, and elbow them in the spine, okay? Catching just like in Wansu, grab and throw. Now we're gonna do my favorite chicken wing block here, chicken wing back fist. They come to grab it with two hands. So I'm gonna grab their sleeves from a crane stance and push my foot through their torso. So it's gonna be push. I'm gonna set, circle set. I'm gonna block the face, palm heel the groin, palm the face. Knee smash, punch. Go over my shoulder, block the face, palm the groin, palm the face, knee smash, punch. Now, I'm gonna step behind crane stance, double block, and all I'm doing is here, you'll see it in a sec, shift, kick, and hold your chambers. So it's here, us, kick, look, step around, same thing, shift, kick, guard, guard, and that's soon. 
Zunsu is a long kata, it's a hard kata, and if you go to uh, one of the big tournaments like Worlds, uh, all the black belts are either doing Kusanku or Sunsu because they're the two hardest, okay? So uh, don't get discouraged if you get lost, don't get discouraged if you get, if it's hard, it's supposed to be hard, it's a black belt kata, okay? So if you're like a orange belt and you're walking through Sunsu, good for you, uh, I don't expect you to understand it, okay? Comes with time. With that though, we're gonna move on uh, to our kicking terminology. So, uh, I've said this before, but the Japanese word for kick by itself is keri, K-E-R-I, keri. Uh, if you say Gary, getty, uh, it means diarrhea by itself. It's kind of funny, you won't forget that. But kicks, when you add a word in front of it, it modifies the sound from a K sound to a G sound, and you get Gary. So like, May Gary isn't with a K, it's with a G, okay? So we'll start nice and easy. So our front kick, kicking in front of us, is May Gary. So we'll do that a couple times. Ready, May Gary. May Gary. One more good one, May Gary. Moving to the side, our side of our body. So we have, the front is May, the side is Yoko. Yoko is side. So it's Yoko Gary is a side kick. Okay? Yoko Gary. Yoko Gary. So we have May Gary, we have Yoko Gary, and then behind us we have back kick. So uh, back, behind, is Ushiro. Ushiro. Like, who's she running behind, right? Ushiro. So Ushiro Gary is back kick. So we'll do that. Ready? Ushiro Gary. Ushiro Gary. Say these with me when I'm doing them, okay? So it gives you some um, practice when actually saying them and not just listen. Ushiro Gary. So we got May Gary, Yoko Gary, and Ushiro Gary. Now, uh, the other one that's easy because it's a direction is roundhouse kick. I remember roundhouse kick because a front kick goes straight and a washing machine goes around. So if you stick a front kick in a washing machine, it goes around. My roundhouse kick goes around, okay? So it's may washi gary, okay, is a roundhouse kick. May washi gary, may washi gary, okay? So those are my, th that's the last easy one. So we got may gary, Yoko Gary, Ushiro Gary, Maywashi Gary. Now for a couple of the harder ones. Blade kick uses the word for the side of my foot. The side of my foot is called Sokuto. Okay, so the blade of my foot is called Sokuto. So Sokuto Gary is blade kick. And it's usually done to the corner. So you have May Gary, Sokuto Gary, Yoko Gary, Ushiro Gary, and Maywashi Gary. The opposite of a roundhouse kick is a hook kick. So instead of using my toes, I use my heel to drive through, okay? That's called uh, Kaki Gary, okay? A hook kick is Kaki Gary. So we have May Gary, Sokuto Gary, Yoko Gary, Ushiro Gary, Mayuashi Gary, and Kaki Gary. Uh, the other two are Crescent Kick. So Crescent Kick is more designed to like push, okay? It's a, uh, it blocks a knee coming across, it blocks an arm coming in a punch. Um, it's more for disrupting somebody's guard than it is for actually blocking something. Um, but it's designed to come to the inside out and it makes kind of a crescent shape, which is why they call it a crescent kick. And the word for crescent is Mikazuki. So Mikazuki Gary is crescent kick. So let's do that a couple times. Ready? Mikazuki Gary. Mikazuki Gary. Maywashi Gary. 
May Gary, Kaki Gary, Sokuto Gary, Yoko Gary, and Ushiro Gary. And we'll do one more. Uh, my favorite is heel push kick. So heel push kick is just the word for heel and then kick. So it's a heel kick. Say Kakato Gary. Okay, so we have Kakato Gary is our, is our pushing kick. So if you're hitting a bag, it's when you push with your foot more than you are kicking it. It's Kakato Gary. So we have May Gary and Kakato Gary. So let's go through the whole list. May Gary, Sokuto Gary, Yoko Gary, Ushiro Gary. Then we have May Washi Gary. We have Kaki Gary, which are hook kick. We have Mike Kazuki Gary and Kakato Gary. Very good. All right. With that, those are your kicks. Practice them, okay? So if you're an advanced yellow belt, you're supposed to know the Japanese words for all your kicks and all your stances. If you're a yellow belt, you're supposed to know the Japanese words for all your punches and all your blocks. So make sure you guys are practicing those, okay? Uh, if you need help with those, they're all right here in your training manual, okay? There's a page I put in here that's got every Japanese word you ever never wanted to know. And I know I said ever never really fast, but it's all the Japanese words you ever never wanted to know, all right? So they're all in here, okay? You got your kicks, stances, you got your punches, you got your parts of your foot, in case you wanted to know why it sounds like the kicks uh, have the words for them that they do, sometimes that helps to know. All right, so learn them. All right, with that, we're gonna do some self defense, and when we come back, I'll have the announcements for you. All right, so I got Amanda here, so we're gonna do a little bit of self defense. Uh, nice and quick, these are all gonna be against a grab and a punch. So the first one we're gonna do is nice and easy. She comes to grab me and punch. I'm gonna do my regular head block, and I'm either gonna take an Epon Ken where I stick my knuckle out, or just lead with my top two knuckles and come right to the inside of her arm. Now, when I'm doing this, I like to catch the arm here so that I know she can't let go of me, and it kind of loosens it up so that I can do I can move forward with the uh, uh, taking her hand off, right? But we're not gonna to get to that for this one. So when she grabs and punches, just pop, and then to the inside punch. And I want to aim for that spot between my bicep and my tricep. That's where your your uh, nerve runs. It goes all the way to your pinky finger. Okay. If you feel it while you're working, if you feel it in your pinky finger, you're in the right spot. All right. You should feel a little tingle. Uh, so one last time, we'll do it on the opposite side this time, just so you guys can see it. So it's going to be black, regular head black, and then punch to the inside of the arm. Practice that one, both partners, both sides, a couple, five to 10 times, uh, and then come back and we got the next one for you. Next one's gonna be when she grabs and punches, I'm gonna try to block with my uh, the back side of my arm. So when this punch comes in, I'm gonna come up here and block with either my elbow or my, my uh, forearm up by my elbow. That's gonna give me a little bit of space so that I can come in and trap this wrist. I'm gonna trap this wrist and twist at the same time, and it's gonna kind of bring her body in towards mine, okay? So from here, I have a couple options. I can either pull her hand off, and I'll show you guys this from the other side in a second, or I can come in and follow through with a, a blade kick to the, to the knee. If she grabs it the other side, the other side, when I block here and I come in, I'm trapping here close to my chest. I'm keeping, I'm not even worried about getting her hand off my knee. It's just bringing it in here, and it's gonna start rolling. She can't support any weight like this. The only thing she can really do is fall into me. Now I can pop her hand off or come up an elbow, then pop her hand off or follow through and kick to the knee. Uh, my options are pretty open, but um, you know, don't, don't kill your partner. So what I really wanna do, what I wanna focus on is just getting to this off balance position for her. And notice that I kind of transition into a crane stance here. That's where I'm gonna be strong and that gives me my most options, right? Again, practice that one back and forth a few times, and I got one last one for you. The last one we're gonna do is probably 
Uh, it's probably my favorite. So when she grabs and punches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap to the inside here. Then I'm going to take this hand over the top and I'm going to do a palm heel to her nose. My other option here is to do an elbow to the bridge of her, her nose right here. If you're coming in at a downward angle, really all you're going to do is break their face. Okay. Uh, there will be a lot of blood, but the amount of damage that you do isn't going to be maiming. It is just going to really suck for them. Because if you crack their nose, and their orbital sockets on the bottom here, they're just gonna be in a lot, a lot of pain. And they're probably not gonna be too keen of fighting back anymore. So when this punch and grab comes in, it's tapped to the inside here, kind of ties her up. I'm gonna keep my arm in place so if she tries to push back with it, uh, I'm in a good spot to stop her. And then either over the top palm heel or over the top elbow. And I want that shoulder rotation here. That's what's gonna get, even for my palm heel, that's what's gonna get that power behind it. And it's gonna give me a little bit of down uh, force. Now, if she's doing it to me, where she's taller, she's gonna try to do that rotation here so that she can come in at a downward angle herself, even though she's shorter than me, okay? So whether it's a palm or if she comes in with the elbow here, um, they're both trying to come down. If you come in straight, the chances of you breaking stuff are less because they're gonna back up with it, okay? If you come down, you're gonna bend their knees, but there's resistance there, okay? So the chances of you being able to break stuff is higher, all right? So don't break your partner though, just understand how it works. So you wanna come down, all right? Practice that one back and forth with your partner a few times, all right? And then uh, when you're all set with that, we'll come back for something else. All right, everybody, so for announcements this week, all we've got is uh, our Zoom classes are going to be on Friday. Uh, it's going to be from 5 to 5.40 for kids, 5.50 to 6.30 for adults. Um, keep an eye out. We're going to be out uh, of the newsletter. should be coming out soon. Um, I'm working on getting some guest instructors. I got one of them lined up, um, ready to go. I got another one that I'm still trying to coordinate with. Uh, we should get some guest instructors this month through Zoom, which would be kind of cool um, to give us a chance to maybe reach outside the box and, you know, play a, play a different game for change. Um, so make sure you're doing that. This is the last week of the Focus Mitt Challenge. It wasn't today. I'll give you a hint. If you haven't seen it, you might still have a chance. Go back a day or two. Wink, wink, wink. They're usually at the end of the video, so make sure you're going back. Uh, also, um, make sure that when you're watching these videos in the online classes, there's a thing at the bottom, uh, if you click on the little attachment screen that says confirm class. If you hit that little slider over to say, conf uh, I confirmed this class, I went to this class, it gives you a chance to give me a little input on what you liked, what you didn't like about the class. And uh, it makes it so that I can start uh, doing attendance for the Zoom classes and the, the um, the video lessons as attendance so that we can keep our attendance records and stuff of who's doing what and when. Okay. So, uh, keep that in mind. Keep doing that. Uh, lastly, we're going to be doing, or I'm going to be doing uh, a workout challenge for the entire month of May. Um, so basically what it is, is it's a series of 30 workouts. I know there's 31 days in May. We'll figure it out. Um, a series of 30 workouts where, um, it's all body weight exercises. A lot of it's punches and kicks and karate moves and that kind of stuff. And what's designed to do is just kind of beat you up a little bit, make you feel good, wear you out. And at the end of the, the form, there's a little, um, it's the avatar challenge. So it's a little avatar, uh, like in a video game where it gives you little status bars. Uh, and those status bars are like strength, endurance, and stuff like that. And each workout during the week, depending on how many reps of it you do, tells you how many bars you get to fill in, which is kind of cool. So uh, I'm gonna be posting mine up every week uh, on Facebook so you guys can see how I'm doing. Uh, and if you guys are interested in doing the same thing, feel free to do that. And uh, I think it's just cool to get us off our butts, do us a little bit of karate and uh, you know, make something a little bit of a challenge because if I know you guys, like I know, I think I do, you guys all do best when you have a challenge, when you have a goal. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to fill that thing out. Uh, I want to max everything out because I think that'll be fun. Um, but do your best 
and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. So if you're interested in joining me for that, um, the link to the workout's gonna be in, in the class. Uh, I'll also put it in the newsletter so that you can find it. And uh, yeah, it's free, so there's nothing to lose. Other than that, I got nothing. You guys did awesome today. Keep up the good work. Uh, if you know these upper katas, make sure you practice them a couple extra times. If you gotta follow through because you're rusty on a couple of them, then do it. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to watch these videos more than once. All right. Other than that, I got nothing. You guys are dismissed.